A lot of learning science is interested in looking at how children navigate their environment, take in information from the area surrounding them and what information the teachers or parents are giving them. Unfortunately, it's hard to ask children directly what information are you taking in, partly because they, ha dif they have difficulty articulating what's happening, talking about it, but also because you're interrupting the moment in which they're actually learning. And so what people have tried to do is figure out discrete background ways to figure out how children take in information. One main way is to videotape children in the classroom or in informal settings like walking through an art museum or a science museum with a parent. That gives you a very global sense of where they stand, how long they're standing there, maybe if they ask questions. So that gives you a broader picture but not really nitty gritty second by second, moment by moment about what the child is doing. The other way to answer the question is to go into those details by looking at eye tracking. Eye tracking uses infrared technology similar to what you might see in a Wii or another play game where you can move your hands and the computer knows what you're doing. In eye tracking we use the infrared to see where your eyes are looking. So we can look at is the child looking at the corner, is the child looking over here, what grabs the child's attention. Now the problem there is most of this eye tracking study uses the child sitting in front of a computer, which is great if you want to see what the child is looking at on a computer screen. But a lot of learning takes place when there's one-to-one -one interaction, either the child talking with the teacher, the child talking with the parent, or the child simply moving around. So what we've tried to do is marry these big picture issues of the child roaming through his environment with the nitty-gritty uh, knowledge of where they're looking and for how long. So the study we're doing with the help of the COIL support is to look at mobile eye tracking. So literally the children and parents can wear visors around the eyes, similar if you've ever seen the old Star Trek Next Generation, um, Geordi LaForge, and we can look at in real time where the child is looking from a camera pointed at the eye and what's happening in the world around them from a camera that's pointed out. And all of this information goes onto a little tablet that lives in a backpack that the child can carry. So even from the youngest of age, uh, like a two-year-old, all the way through up through an adult, we can get similar information. This information we can take back to the lab and we can ask really detailed questions like, when the child looks at this area of the museum or in the classroom, does the teacher respond? Does the parent notice? If the parent notices, what does the parent do? Or if we're doing a display in a museum that's supposed to be child-friendly, where are they actually looking? Is it engaging to the child?